So uh, to, to, to the uh, question of Ukraine, uh, yeah. can, can you clarify, and I've been trying to get an answer to this, was the president serious when he said that he would also like to see China investigate the Bidens? And you were directly involved in the decision to withhold funding uh, from uh, Ukraine. Can you explain to us now definitively why? Why was funding withheld? Sure, I'll deal, let's deal with the second one first, um, which is, look, it should come as no surprise to anybody. The last time I was up here, I've been, I haven't done this since I was chief of staff, right? Last time I was up here, some of you folks remember, it was for the budget briefings, right? And one of the questions y'all always ask me about the budget is, what are y'all doing to the foreign aid budget? Because we, 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 we absolutely gutted it, right? President Trump is not a big fan of foreign aid. Never has been, still isn't. Doesn't like spending money overseas, especially um, when it's poorly spent. Um, and that is exactly what drove this decision. Um, I've been in the office a couple times with him talking about this. And he said, look, Mick, um, this is a corrupt place. Everybody knows it's a corrupt place. By the way, put this in context. This is on the heels of what happened in Puerto Rico when we took a lot of heat for not wanting to give a, a bunch of aid to Puerto Rico because we thought that place was corrupt. And by the way, it turns out we were right. All right? So put that as your, as your context. He's like, look, this is a corrupt place. I don't want to send them a bunch of money and have them waste it, have them spend it, have them use it to line their own pockets. Um, plus, I'm not sure that the other European countries are helping them out either. So we actually looked at that. During that time, before when the money, when we when we cut the money off before the money actually flowed, because the money flowed by the end of the fiscal year, uh, we actually did an analysis of what other countries were doing uh, in terms of supporting Ukraine. And what we found out was that, and I can't remember if it's zero or near zero dollars from any European countries for lethal aid. You've heard the president say this that we give them tanks and the other other countries give them pillows. Um, that's absolutely right. That the, the, the as, as 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 vocal as the Europeans are about supporting Ukraine, um, they are really really stingy when it comes to lethal aid, uh, and they weren't helping Ukraine, and that still to this day are not. And the president did not like that. So I, I know it was a long answer to your question, but I'm still going. So um, that was those were the driving factors. Did he also mention to me in the past the 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 the, the corruption related to the DNC server? Absolutely. No question about that. Um, but that's it. And that's why we held up the money. Now, there was a report. So, so, so the demand for an investigation into the Democrats was part of the reason that he it was on to withhold funding to Ukraine. The, the look back to what happened in 2016 certainly was, was part of the thing that he was worried about in corruption with that nation. And, and that is absolutely appropriate. Withholding the funding. Yeah, which, which ultimately then flowed. By the way, there was a report that we were worried that the money wouldn't, if, if we didn't pay out the money, it would be illegal. Okay, it would be unlawful. Um, that is one of those things that is, has that little shred of truth in it um, that, that makes it look a lot worse than it really is. Uh, we were concerned about, in our, uh, over at OMB, about an impoundment. And I know I just put half of you folks to, to bed, but there's, a, there's the Budget Control Act, uh, impound, Budget Control Impoundment Act of 1974 says that if Congress s appropriates money, you have to spend it. Okay, at least that's how it's interpreted by some folks. And we knew that that money either had to go out the door by the end of September, or we had to have a really, really good reason not to do it. And that was the legality of the issue. But to be clear, what you just described is a quid pro quo. It is funding will not flow unless the investigation into the into the Democratic server uh, happened as well. We, we, do, we do that all the time with foreign policy. We were holding up money at the same time for, uh, what was it, the Northern Triangle com countries. We were holding up aid at the Northern Triangle countries so that they, uh, so that they would change their policies on immigration. By, by the way, and this speaks to it, this speaks to an important, I'm sorry? This speaks to an important point, because I heard this yesterday, and I can never remember the gentleman who testified. Was it McKinney, the guy? Is that his name? From the, I don't, don't know him. He testified yesterday. And if you go, and if you believe the news reports, okay, because we've not seen any transcripts of this. The only transcript I've seen was Sondland's testimony morning, this morning. If you read the news reports and you believe them, what did McKinney say yesterday? Well, McKinney said yesterday that he was really upset with the political influence in foreign policy. That was one of the reasons he was so upset about this. And I have news for everybody. Get over it. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. I'm talking Just to Mr. Moving. Carl. Uh, that is going to happen. Elections have consequences. And foreign policy is going to change from the Obama administration to the Trump administration. And what you're seeing now, I believe, is a group of mostly career, uh, career bureaucrats who are saying, you know what, I don't like President Trump's politics, so I'm going to participate in this witch hunt that they're, that they're undertaking on the Hill. P elections do have consequences, and they should, and your foreign policy is going to change. Obama did it in one way, we're doing it a different way, and there's no problem with that.